lady yields back to the gentleman from Washington Reserve. Reserve. Gentleman from Missouri is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. At this time, I'd yield one minute to the chairman of the House Ag Committee, the gentleman from Pennsylvania, Mr. Thompson. The gentleman from Pennsylvania is recognized for one minute. Well, I thank the gentleman for his leadership in this issue. I rise in strong support of today's Waters of the United States, WOTUS Joint Resolution of Disapproval, and stand in opposition to the BITUS WOTUS, which is an attack on the Clean Water Act, attack on states' rights to have oversight over non-navigable waters, and a, an attack on private property rights. As the chairman and former ranking member of the House Agriculture Committee, I've spent the last two years traveling to more than 40 states to hear directly from producers about the challenges they face. I was proud to be with Chairman Graves in his district, where we had a, uh, a, a gathering and a hearing, a listening session on this very topic. Uh, burdensome regulations, record inflation, high input costs, politicization of crop protection tools, supply chain disruptions, and now you can add an egregious government land grab to the list. Make no mistake about it, this rule isn't about clean water. It's about the Biden EPA's appetite for power. America's farmers, ranchers, and landowners deserve a WOTUS definition that is fair to agriculture and maintains the historical reach of the Clean Water Act, neither of which is accomplished by the Biden administration's flawed rule. Simply recognizing longstanding agriculture exemptions that have been too narrowly applied for decades does not make up for, once again, plunging our rural communities into regulatory amb ambiguity. I thank the Transportation Infrastructure Committee Chairman Sam Graves and the Waters Resource and Environment Subcommittee Chairman David Rouser for leading this important effort, and I urge a yes vote. I yield back. Gentleman yields back.